Hey y'all. So, um, as some of you requested, I recorded my salon experience and it actually went better than I anticipated. <laughs> and um, I did get some footage, so I will be showing that shortly. This is the result. And I think she did a pretty good job. Let me know what y'all think. She really didn't like cut it, you know? which is good and and you'll see in the video too um what she said but yeah i'm very very happy about how she went about it she did blow my hair out more than how it was when i went there and she used like an ion an ion blow dryer and i had a lot of heat protectant like just touching my hair it's like the oil is still on my hands but let me just tell you last night <laughs> I put heat protectant on my hair because I was like what if she doesn't believe in heat protectant or something I don't know because I have experienced that like I'll go to salons and they don't put anything on my hair to protect my hair so I did make sure that I put a heat protectant on my hair uh, before I went um, but yeah I love how flowy my hair is Oh, <laughs> so I want to let y'all know. So I contacted one person before I contacted her. I contacted this person on Stacy. This person that I contacted, I mean, she seemed like someone that I guess was pretty decent with hair, or I just saw that she could do trims or whatever. So I was like, let me just see what she thinks about length retention because I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. So I remember messaging her on Southie and I was asking her, you know, if she believed in length retention. I said, because I don't wanna go in expecting a trim, but getting a cut. So yeah, I remember asking her specifically though, if she believed in length retention. So she texts me and she said, in response to your message, I charge this amount for shampoo, straightener, and trim. Your hair must be in its straightest form for the most accurate cut. I also do not believe in retaining length when it comes to trimming. For the purpose of a trim is to remove the split ends from one's hair and being a licensed stylist, my ultimate goal is for you to leave with your hair as healthy as possible. Hope I answered all your questions for you. When I first read that, I was like, she doesn't believe in length retention. But then I understood how she was like, I believe in the health of, you know, my client's hair. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it. Y'all let me know down below if I am. Just kind of knew from that point, I was like, I don't think I want to go to her. And so then I found the one that I went to today and things went very well. So I don't know, I guess that response has kind of made me feel like she would cut it regardless of how much I want cut off. I think it's just the whole not believing in lengthy tension just kind of bothers me. So y'all let me know if I'm tripping. I mean, it's cool. It's not gonna hurt my feelings if y'all say I'm tripping, but I feel like, a, I personally feel that if anyone hears that, they're just gonna be kind of like standoffish, like, uh, I don't know if I wanna go to you. But I mean, who knows? She may have been good, but I just, was not comfortable with her response, so I didn't go to her. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my experience. And um, yeah, I just hope that I don't have any heat damage because I'm, I'm so paranoid about heat damage. <laughs> Even though my hair is like clearly oily from the uh, heat protectant I put on last night and probably from the past couple days. So. Okay guys, so I'm about to get my hair done and I'm hoping that it turns out okay. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to record some for y'all. So we'll see. Blow dryer from others. I am. Mean, it's, yeah. it's not. 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 It
as much as far as the red teeth. Yeah. So it's not gonna be as hard on their hair. It's just like a regular gold layer. Mm -hmm. Um, just to keep those hitting your hair. These are just too, I put too much oil in my hair. I'm sorry. Oh no, just like residue. I really don't mean to annoy you if you need, but. Mm -hmm. um, are you gonna put in heat for something in your day, or is it just, or you do don't I have no more? I don't need any more. Yeah, you don't I'm need no more. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want to make sure. Uh -uh. I just get it's nervous. Already sick. I can feel like all of this product on it already. Okay, so, I just want to no, make sure. I don't, no, I don't think you don't want to send you out here smoking. <laughs> to come in for maintenance you're gonna have to get it blown out and trimmed yeah. but you can do it like this if you want to stretch it out that way you don't have to use as much heat yeah. but you're gonna have to use a little bit just to at least get it in a straight form so you can get a nice even cut so when you do wear it out right it look like something you know well you know okay. uh -huh, go ahead. well so the other day you know i was trying to do it but the comb kept falling off and it was hard to get through my hair because it was so tangled. Oh yeah. Stress, yeah. stress can break your hair in those areas like right here where you were talking about, yeah. right here in the top of your head, um, around your hairline and around your temples. Right? Yeah. Those are common places for your hair to break. But I mean, it feels good. It feels like you're keeping it pretty moisturized. And from looking at it, it looks like you take pretty good care of it. I don't see no mm. breakage areas. Yeah. You don't? I, don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I felt like there was a lot of breakage in that area. Mm -mm. Okay. You're not seeing no specific like little short pieces where you need to be concerned, but you know your hair does shit. 70, yeah. 75 hairs a day. Every day your hair is going to shit. So expect to lose something, but mm -hmm. it shouldn't be breaking off in really long pieces. Every time I detangle, there's a ton of pieces in the sink, you know, a ton of like the ends. So this is Colorado, so you really got to keep your hair moisturized when you have natural hair. Yeah. A lot of moisture in it. And um, I wash my hair. I see I have a, a chemical in my hair, I have a relaxer, and mm -hmm. I have color mm -hmm. in my hair too. It's not color, but I've lifted it so it's even thinner. Yeah. But um, I wash and condition my hair once a week just to keep it moisturized. Right. And I do protein treatments like every other week. Protein you might need to strengthen your hair. Keep it on um, the foundation on your, your chin on your chest so you can get a nice even train in here. So before you trim, uh -huh. uh, how much do you expect that would need to be cut off? Uh, it's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. So you're just looking at a light interior dust trim. It's not bad. You're not going to lose much length at all. Okay. But you do need a dust trim now to keep it growing. Okay. inside that's the length that you're gonna have pretty okay. much the same length that you have now and I'm going on the inside and trim the inside of your hair too that way okay. whatever it doesn't reach the bottom will be trimmed too Well, I'm so glad that it's <laughs> trimmed and mm -hmm. I feel so much better about that yeah, now. Yeah, healthy, so just take care of it like you've been doing. You've been doing a good job. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I don't see breakage. I don't know what you're feeling like. It just might be a stress point in that, yeah. but it's not breaking to the point where um, you need to be concerned. If mm -hmm. anything, it's just going to be shedding and like I said, our hair mm -hmm. sheds crazy. I always get nervous when I go to get my trim because... Oh yeah, because they don't know how to cut. They cut yeah, they, they cut, cut and so... They don't know how to cut, they don't take no classes. I just... I'm I just, just feel sorry for what y'all stuck with out here. <laughs> I know, so... I mean, I'd be like, well, you got to my shop, you finally found me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, good for you. <laughs>